Yes guys, welcome back to another Hashtag United Match Day video. You've got myself, Seb, and Yarni here. LP is away. What's going on? Enjoying himself. Can you believe it? What's he doing enjoying Jimmy. himself? Off on holiday in New York. So he'll be back with us soon. But tonight, you've got us. And tonight is a game at Hashtag United Arena, at Coles Park Stadium, against Wormley Rovers. Now, Wormley are 12th on the table, Yarni. They but are indeed. But form would indicate otherwise. They've won seven out of the last ten. 12th on the table means nothing, basically. Wow, I think they've not lost in four games. It's going to be a very, very difficult game, but talking about not losing, we've never lost at home. Never. So that is a massive, we need to continue this place as a fortress. Now, before we do head over and talk to some of the boys and get that crucial team news from Devs, I'm here to tell you about today's match day video partner, none other than Headball 2. Now, I've been playing this game since the original online Headball, and let me tell you, it is double, double decent. It's a standard football game, loads of fun to play. You basically get your own character, so you can even unlock and earn different characters in the game. You can upgrade your character in the game, as well as use the store to buy loads of other unlockable items. It's so, so much fun. You've basically got to, got to beat your opponent. You can play your friends, you can even play me. You can see my screen name on there, at Sebsi Brownfall, the same as all my social medias. You can even play against me, guys. Play your friends, try and progress through the game. It's so, so much fun to do so. I really would recommend you check it out. They've even got some great things in there, like special powers you can get for your character, like making the goal bigger or smaller, just as your opponent's about to shoot. Freeze the ball, you can make the ball blow up. Loads and loads of fun stuff. His first choice is a superpower. And also they've got John Motson in as commentator this year. It's double, double decent. There's a link down in the description. Go down there, download it for free, support the guys supporting the team, and it's definitely worth checking out. Jackie H, welcome Hi. back, mate. Thank you. Nice What's been going on? It's been a, been a couple of games, isn't it? Nippy, isn't it? I've had to put this on. Yeah, no, three games now. But you've got a new uh, baby girl. Join the club. Well. Join the fatherhood club. I'll give you some of that. Absolutely. Yeah. How is Margot? Her daughters. No, she's doing well. She's doing well. And how's Mummy H? Mummy H is doing all right. Yeah. So not many sleepless nights for me. Anyway. Look at this no, father's look. smile. Look at that. It's the smile no, you get when you become I had a to have father. Had a shave this morning. Back for work. So had like, a shave this morning. Had to. It's quick. grown already that yeah. quick. Well, no, like be a trick. Okay. Be a trick. All right. Not Fair like, play. Fair not play. Like a real man. But yes, yeah, so I first came back after Christmas. So uh, yeah, we wait and see how I go tonight and see if the um, all those Christmas turkey and stuff. Have you managed to get any running in amongst and changing nappies? Yeah. <laughs> Lee Hurst it. Yes, Goal of the month winner for December. Mm -hmm. Talk me through it. Well, ball coming across from Edge, took a touch, and then um, just wrapped it in the top corner. What I will do is, well, I won't, Lewis will. He'll insert it right now. Dan Adji finds Lee. Lee shoots. Lee scores. Oh, hello. Hello. So, yeah, it was a good goal. So, um, top of the league. Got a game tonight. Let's get it. Let's get it. Adji, you were late. Why were you late? Uh, obviously, someone pulled the red alarm from the TFL. It was not my fault. <laughs> Jacko, do you reckon he's lying? What did he say, mate? He said, uh, Did he speak? Someone... Did he say it come out of his mouth? Yeah. Lying, then, didn't he? Tea watch. Give me a rating out of 10 for that tea. It's coffee, actually, mate. Oh, brilliant. Come on, big man. Show me something. Show me something. Yeah? Is that your feeling? Oh, yeah. Stay there, dog. Yeah? I'm staying here. And when you show me something, there, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take that, King. <laughs> Love that, mate. Yeah, King, take that. Yeah. Can we like, boys? Yeah. Yeah. Take it oh. <laughs> Now, here is the man himself, Tom, manager of Harringy Borough. You're our landlord, if you like. We're using your fantastic facilities here, and you guys are absolutely smashing it right now. Well, it's not just us, is it? It's you as well. So, anyone who's playing in White Hart Lane at the moment, Seems like they're top of the league and doing well. And uh, I think it's rubbing off at that little team down the road in Tottenham High Road. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. They're, don't know about any team down they're, there. They're, they're, they're second at the moment, so a little bit of our um, uh, luck is rubbing off on them as well, I think. It's fantastic to see. I mean, um, I was actually looking at some of the stats about some of the teams that could go up from our division, because it's a bit complicated at our level. Yeah. What, what happens at your level? What would you need to do to get promotion? Well, it's, it's a bit complicated uh, at our level as well this year. If I understand it right, um, the top team goes gets an automatic promotion. Uh, second, third, fourth, and fifth play each other, and the winners out of them have to play the Evo Stick equivalent uh, or the or the uh, cent uh, Premier Central equivalent. Right, okay. So you you've got to win about three four games before you can get a promotion if you're in one of the playoff positions. Right, it's a long old season. You guys also had an incredible cup run, which some of the viewers might have seen. You guys are playing on the BBC, right? Yeah, it was fantastic. I think that's what's. Um, raised the, uh, the level of this football club and expectations now. We've done so well against Wimbledon. Um, it's just carried on and it's been fantastic. A little bit unlucky losing the last minute, but um, long may it continue. 
Got to give you some bad news, I'm afraid. Um, this week we lost one of the Hashtag United family and uh, one of our own family as well, Nanny June, grandmother to myself, Spencer and Saunders, and mother to Stevie CB, unfortunately passed away this week. Um, so she's no longer with us. She was a massive Hashtag United fan. She genuinely never forgot to hashtag it. Um, there's video evidence. <laughs> um, and she was at games watching us as recently as the Wembley Cup final. At the Wembley Cup final, the last two years running, absolute legend and um yeah you'll be sorely missing and love you lots it's going to be a very very um weird atmosphere tonight we're excited for the game but we're still mourning her loss a great woman who will be missed by not just us in the family but many many more as well and here is Le Gaffer himself Devs, i want to let you know one thing before we get into some team news tonight i want to let you know i'm one of the few people that didn't get rid of you in the football manager demo you're upstairs one of the board of directors there and i've got you arranging Pretty, pretty much you're doing the main job, I'm just sort of clicking the button. The so you're still, yeah, I'm basically you're taking the credit. Yeah. I, do now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, but hit us with some team news tonight, mate. Um, uh, I've a couple of changes tonight from, from Saturday, as, as well as we did Saturday. I've, I've changed the shape of the side because I think it's what's, what's uh, needed for tonight. Um, Matt Carter's back available after illness. He's going to come in. Uh, Daniel drops to the bench. Um, Tom Williams is not available tonight because um, we have to look after his knees, basically, and, and, and going Saturday Fair Tuesday play. is a bit much for him, so we'll be leaving him out. Lee Hurst is back in tonight after a rest. Um, Jack Harrison's back in tonight after his uh, paternity leave. Um, so there's a few changes, but you know we're still strong. We've got Isa back on the bench. He's back involved, which is good to see tonight. Uh, obviously, Charlie's not available. We're still waiting to find out the extent of the damage to, it, to his hamstring. This, tonight, we're playing against, in my view, one of the top sides in the league. Do not look at their league position. And the reason being is because they didn't win any of their first eight. I think they've won seven of their last ten. It's going to be a real tough, but a challenge that we should relish because we're in good form as well and we're a good side. You should need no other motivation at all tonight to go out there and give your absolute everything for this man. All right? At the, the toughest of weeks that we, you can't bear to imagine and it can only be a crumb of comfort but hopefully we can give him a crumb of comfort by going out there and putting on a, a display that puts a smile on his face. Because, because it's not just about what he does for you, what he does for this group, what he does for us, what he does for the club. He's not just here on match day. He's not just here, you know, you know it's, it's, it's no coincidence that every time you walk in the change room, he's here. It's because he's here first. He's here early and he's here for you. And he does it out of love, all right? So let's repay some of that tonight and let's give him something to smile about, please. Right, we do tonight for Steve and his family. Yeah? yeah. Right, let's go. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Hashtag United game. It's a home game tonight against Wormley Rovers. It's first versus 12th. The first time we're playing Wormley Rovers this season as well. And it's only our second game of 2019, our first home game of the year. And I'm joined by Charlie Morley. One of the downsides of, uh, of injuries, you don't get to play. But the upside is you get to commentate, Charlie. I mean, I didn't want it to come to this. I said it earlier, but it's happened. I'm here and I'm buzzing. I found out, what, two hours ago? Yeah, it's been called up. But um, I'm ready for it. I can't wait. Hopefully another three points on the board, another win. And... Um, get the boys going. Yeah, Charlie's been in fine form recently, uh, played centre midfield on the weekend, uh, obviously got injured towards the end, but had a good game in centre mid. I want to ask you about that, Charlie. How do you find it? It seems a match made in heaven. Charlie Morley, initial CM, playing CM. <laughs> no, it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, obviously, against maybe possible better opposition, it might have been a different story, but no, I enjoyed it and I look forward to playing there in the future. Yeah, obviously a bit of a hamstring injury at the moment, so we'll be back soon. We don't know much about Wormley other than that they're 12th in the table. Uh, they're on a four-game unbeaten streak mm -hmm. which is the same streak the hashtag United are on could that streak be going tonight someone's streak has got to go well, it it's could be not going to be ours could be a draw. no it's not going to be ours okay. it's not happening no draw interesting fact about draws every draw we've had this season has been one all crazy sorry to think about anyway yeah. should we take a look at the team let's do it okay the team for tonight is going to be Jamie Jackson in goal. At left back, Ross Gleed, who's returned back to his left back spot. He's been deputising at centre back for the captain, Jack Harrison, who is back. Captain Jack is back after the birth of his baby, Margot. Uh, Farai Singano is next to Jack in that brilliant centre back partnership. Simon Petty at right back. In midfield, we've got Ricky Evans and Lee Hursett back in the team. Harry Honesty is on the left hand side. Ryan Adams on the right. Matt Carter back after a ban and an illness in uh, attacking midfield and up front it's top goal scorer with 13 goals this season Neil Richo Richmond on the bench that leaves us with Kane Brogham Isa Hussein George Valentine Daniel Adji and Aaron Couch 
We're going to do a quick minute's applause now. Big thanks to devs and the officials tonight for allowing us to do it. And now we're going to remember my grandmother and Stevie CB's mum. And Wormley Rovers get us underway here tonight, Tuesday night at Coles Park. Ross Gleed winning a header from the early ball, Big and we're underway. Matt Carter back in the team. Talk to me about Ooh. Matt Carter's performance uh, before the ban kicked in, Charlie. I mean, he was out for quite a while, um, but he came back, and uh, he's been outstanding. Lee Hurst obviously missed Saturday. Um, yeah. You came into that role yeah, for him. Yeah. And uh, he struggles to play a lot of games in short succession. So I think he's, I think he's fit. I yeah. just think he's... It was, uh, it was opted to what play the Tuesday night game. What a pass by Jack Harrison. What a ball. Oh, Ryan Adams. Get there. it down. Oh, oh, big save from the keeper. You have to Quality. say well done. Unfortunately, Ryan's touch there let him down. But um, it's, a, it's a good sign. What a pass by Jack. He's obviously been out with the, with the, the baby being born. But showing confidence. Yeah, congratulations to Jack and his wife Lottie for the arrival of Margot. He's almost got himself an assist there. Corner here. Going to be taken by Lee Hursett. Whipped in. Good cross back post for Jack. Then Jack Harrison oh, hits it. Oh, Jack. And how many of those does he win? He scored four or five goals this season, in fact. Four assists from centre-back. Not bad at all. It's could have bad. been six. It could have been. Is that sort of corner? You've taken a few corners this season. Is that the sort of corner you want to see from Lee Hurst in towards it's the a, back it's post? A, it's a good... Oh, one, one, of our, one of our little things is obviously going, going to the back post. I think it's pretty known that we do that. Um, and either Petty or Jack is always going to be there. So it's a good free kick. Uh, good corner, sorry. And um, unlucky. Good unlucky chance. for Jack. Can we reach the same levels on the pitch as these boys have been doing all season off of it? Jack Harrison's going to win that all day long. Get there, Hank. Can go through, Harry through. Honesty here. Can he flick it over the keeper? Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's got pulled a, it. Oh, he yeah, did it. Right. It's yes. a penalty. Right, who takes this? Who takes this? We've missed our last, is it three penalties this well, season? Tom would, would be on it. Would you? Well, or has taken them, hasn't he? We've had so. three penalties this season. They've all been missed, but the two takers of those three penalties aren't on the pitch. Tekkers and Tom. Yeah. Who would you have to take this right now? It looks like... H is going to take it. It's going to be Harry. Yeah. He hasn't had one yet. And he I mean, should he have scored? Because he should have gone for the I right think, foot I think, chip. I think me. maybe he should have scored, um, but he's got the opportunity now to redeem himself. No Hashtag pressure. Hashtag have not scored any of the three penalties they've had in open play this season. Where Surely you, it won't be Where four. do you think he's going? I don't care where he puts it as long as it goes in. Harry Yes! He it. Come on! That's his eighth goal of the season. Hashtag 1-0 up. It's what Triple H does, Charlie. It's a clinical penalty. Bottom left. Sends the keeper the wrong way. Good finish. Lovely stuff. 1-0 hashtag. 15 minutes gone. We'll take it. Is everyone coming over to old Stevie? Oh, I love that. All right, that's good. Oh, that's beautiful. Cuddle for Stevie CB. Yeah. Well done, boys. Keep it up now, lads. Nice Come on. gesture. Throw-in goes back to Matt Carter. He finds Gleedy. Oh, 50-50. going to work it to Jack. It's not the best pass from Jack. Here's Lee Hurst. Oh, oh great free from Lee Hurst. We're playing advantage. advantage. Ryan Adams. Personally. Can he drill it across? He tries to. It's he picks. Oh, oh, it's almost a perfect pick out. By the way, you want to see an action replay on that challenge on Lee because yeah. he did some unbelievable footwork yeah, to evade was. the challenge. It was, yeah. Here we go. Throwing from Peds. He's just slowly gaining yards here. Sent back down the line towards Ryan Adams and Richo. Lee Hurst trying to close down the space here. He's done well there. Oh, it's good work from the midfielder, to be it's fair. Not a foul. Oh, Ricky Evans will have it, though. Still Pass Ricky it Evans. To H. Oh, He's gonna get he can through. run at him here. He can run at him. Triple H. Against two men here. Weaving, winding. Can he get a ball in the box? Eventually oh, it's gets unlucky. It away. There's three players around him there. Yeah. It's a compliment to Triple H's skills. For Ryan, right, a battle here against the top goal scorer for Wormley, Mitchell Linger, who does well to get the pass off to his teammate. And Wormley looking good here. Great hassling from the hashtag defence, though, to send them back. Triple H getting involved. Ricky Evans coming forward. Oh, it's going to give away a cheap free oh, kick there. Free kick for Wormley. It's going to take something to beat Jacko, though. Got a powerful start standing over it. Beats the wall. Oh, and it beats the top post. Luckily for Hashtag, it's off target. It had good whip on it, though. Yeah, yeah, not a bad free kick. Um, but luckily for us, it goes over. We know he's their danger, man. 15 goals in 17 games tells us that. But we also know he's had a red card this season. Oh. So he might be a little bit of a feisty character. Yeah, ref's bringing... 
Well, it's, been, it it's, it's happened to uh, it's happened to us more in terms of dissent. It's happened to us. Yeah, more yeah, definitely dissent. Teams, yeah. But here, this ref is obviously happy to let the game play, which I like, yes. and then he, he, he remembers it, it yeah. which is good. That's how it should be done. Because it stops people being able to disrupt the game. That's why I'm just to Harwich and Parkston away. Is they were really good at just stopping the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ref was really bad for it. Yeah. He always stopped it and he took two minutes every time. Great work from Peds here. It was actually Farai. Peds is covering Farai now. Oh, Ryan quality Adams. by Ryan and Matt. What a ball, ball that is. Oh, he's gone in the perfect place. And oh. Richo just couldn't get there in between the two Wormley defenders. But that is the best cross we've seen all night by a million miles. He's put it in the corridor of uncertainty. And uh, unfortunately, Richo's not got there. That's what we like to see, though. Good good connection, good uh, link-up play. One, either Lee or Ricky, when Matt is sitting this deep, needs to get up and help Richo because there's no one in that area. I'll play that to Lee. Uh, Gleedy, one, my only complaint about Gleedy, and I haven't got many of them at all, is that he always looks for that ball every time. Yeah. Sometimes he probably could have another option, keep the ball, but he's got it back here. Go on, shut me up, Gleedy. Give it. That's it. He goes simple here to Matt Carter. Trying to pick what out Harry Honesty. Good first Use your right foot. Triple H. Oh, what a, chat. Oh, what right a tackle. Yeah, it was a good tackle. At least he hit it on the right foot. I'm glad I saw that. Yeah. Great pick out from Matt Carter. Jack, looking for Richo. Get round him, H. Oh, He's Harry in. Honesty could Harry be Harry is in. Here. Touch and shoot. Across goal. Shoot it, Harry. Oh, what oh, a save by the save. keeper. And Harry Honesty, someone who backs himself in front of goal, first time finishing, has not finished that one. But Carter's kept it alive. Found Richo, who's gone oh. back to Carter. And the touch has gone beyond Carter. And that is the half-time whistle there here at Coles Park. 1-0 to Hashtag United at the break. Charlie, are you happy with what you've seen so far? Um, yeah, I mean, they haven't done too bad. Um, obviously, we've had... Oh, maybe we'd, we've, we've had more chances than them, but I feel like we need to take more. Yeah. We definitely need to take more. More chances, hopefully, in the second half. More goals. But if it stays as it is, we'll be extending our lead at the top of the table. So the second half is big. Let's see what Devs has to say. We'll be back out soon for the second half shortly. It feels like we're just short of being really good. It's always just short, whether it's a misplaced pass, whether it's just the, 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 bad, uh, um, the wrong decision, whether it's just being on our heels a little bit. That's the difference. That's, that's, that, that, that's the difference from us being okay, which you've been. You've been okay, you've been, you know, solid, comfortable. Um, there's a difference between, between being okay and, and being good, right? So there's room for improvement there in, in us. It's more. There's more to come from us. It's okay, but that's all it is, and it's only one nil. I don't expect them to be as flat for another 45 as they are. But it is, we've just got a step, we've got to be on the front foot a little bit more, we've got to work harder, work smarter. <coughs> we're doing the work early. Come on, come on, we just raise this a little bit more. We need a little bit more out of us, come on. We're underway here for the second half. Long ball from Lee Hurst here, Pressure looking for Ryan, Ryan Adams. Oh, I thought he was trying to hit it back to the keeper. Yeah, so did I. Went the other way, Richo. Go back. Pets. No one's in the box, no one's in the box, smart. So he knows, he's just holding it up. What a pass. Ricky Evans. Done well. Gets the ball back. Ryan works it over to Triple H here. Drive at him, Harry. Triple H cuts back and goes home to Ross Gleed. He's going to try and deliver. It's a good, good Richo! cross. Oh, oh Ryan, Ryan took it off him. He's offside. Offside. Ryan was offside, I think. But Richo, it, to be fair to Ryan, it looked like Richo was not going to win the header. No, no, no. He, I mean, he, he competed, but uh, unfortunately didn't get the end of it. Ryan offside. Oh, he's done well there to stop him playing that. Goal kick from Grundis. Decent kick, you know. It's carried into the hashtag half. Headed back by Jack Harrison. Through to Richo. Tries oh. to find Harry Honesty first time. Push there, ref? No. Oh, good work from this no, midfielder now. Well. Chance for Wormley. Running through the middle. Pass Lee Hurst. Still going. Trying to pick oh, out the pass with the back stick to the Nakula, the substitute. And he strikes one on the left foot. Ooh. You know what? It was a shot. I think it was a shot. Yeah, definitely and a shot. It was wide of the post. Good work from Peds against the substitute. Eventually plays it inside. Well Matt, done, Carter Matt Carter nicks it off him. Still Matt Carter. Does he shoot? He's looking for that pass. That's it's a good clever pass. ball Somebody for Harry. Box, Can though? he fizz it across for Ryan Adams? Oh. Keep against there, Matt Carter. Oh, Matt. And Unlucky. what part of his body did that defender use? I don't know what, but it must have hurt. I mean, he's done extremely well to get there. I think it was goal bound. Uh, it's just unfortunate. 
Great vision for Matt Carter to pick out Harry Honesty. He's tried to find Ryan at the back stick. The keeper just got something on it. What a chance. Uh, another one's coming. <laughs> Peds on the ball. Ah, uh, sloppy. Doesn't find his target. Now Wormley looking to counter. Mitchell Linger plays it inside. They've got red shirts everywhere here. There's a lot of space out wide. Oh, and no. a chance for them here coming forward on the right side. Hashtag need to recover. Wormley getting forward, playing into the box. Peds, well done, Peds. heads it away. Got to watch that counter-attack, Charlie, haven't we? Yeah, they're fast. They're, they're a lot better. They've been a lot better in the second half at counter-attacking than they have in the first. Um, but definitely something to look out for. Corner. Ball in. Headed. Oh, oh. flicked away from danger, I think, Matt Carter. Matt Carter. That was goal-bound, Charlie. It looked like it, definitely. He's done well to get up there. He's not the tallest of players, but he's saved Oskin. A couple of guys that have got MOM performances recent, uh, recently replaced each other. Carter off, Adji on. Yep. Kane Brogham is coming on for Jack Harrison, who's picked up an injury. Hopefully not serious. Need to keep hold of it longer. Adji can get this now. Adji, Adji can you punish? Can you get a shot off, Daniel? Strike it, Shoot Daniel. Adji. It's still Adji. Oh. Ryan Adams. Who's going to move through in the middle? Keeper does well Keeper's to carry it. Well. Should I Adji think, have hit one there? I think Adji should have shot. Maybe he wanted to get a little bit closer to the goal, but definitely, definitely should be at least hitting the target. Keeper absolutely thumps it forward. Ryan needs oh. to use this now. Ted gets a touch. Wormley running at us. Still 1-0 hashtag. Wormley looking lively. Into the box. He's going to make it across. And that is why he's got 15 goals. Now 16 goals in 18 games. What a strike from Mitchell Linger. Yeah, you've got to say what a finish that is. Um, it's been coming. It's been coming, hasn't it? Hashtag not looking the same as we did in the first half. Not holding on to the ball. He's come into the box on the volley from Mitchell Linger. And he's a feisty player. He leaves in on the challenges, but he's clearly got bundles of technique because that was a fantastic strike from the lad. Uh, we do make it hard for ourselves. Good, Good header. header. From Farai. Not winning those balls in the middle, though. It's turned two people there, the number six. And it's Wormley coming forward. Farai just always trying to get on the end of it for us. Does well. There's not a foul there. Uh, Aji's not done anything, but the, the player has been hurt potentially. He's been good for them tonight, number five. Damien Thomas. I don't think it's a foul. Aji didn't do anything. I hope the player's okay, but does he give a free kick for this or a drop ball? Was it, was it a head collision? What was it? it? The player came over the back of Aji to try and win it, so uh, almost off, on top of him, yeah. and then fell. But Aji just did his ground. No, it's not, it's, not a, it's not a free kick in my eyes, but... Free kick controversially taken by Wormley. Headed back though by Farai. Justice prevails. Aji heads it over to the left, trying to win this Don't battle foul here. Him again. Come on, lads! We need some big performances here, boys. Coming for the hour, coming for the men. This could be big in the title race. But it's Wormley on the ball right now. Going up against Kane. Get the cross across. Oh, you're kidding me! And their managers ran onto the pitch. 2-1 to Wormley. Shocking stuff from Hashtag. Ball uh, over from the uh, number 15, the substitute. Kane, Mike Kane is hurt as well. I think, I think Kane it's Kane. Brogan might have gone into the advertising board in an effort to stop the cross. But it's been flipped reversed on us, Charlie. We're 2-1 down. Yeah, I, I don't really know what to say about that. It's come from... Our own. Well, um, has it come from the, the supposed free it came kick? came from a second free kick that had yeah, you giveaway. Yeah. Ross Glead with the throw in. Back to Peds. Hashtag having to push forward a bit more now. Peds going to whip, whip it into the box. Ryan Adams trying to win it. Falls to Lee Hurst. Fierce challenge, but a legal challenge by this man who's now got loads of room to run forward. For Icing Garner gets something on it. But there's two of them now. Kane Brogan's outnumbered. Can he get a shot off the lad? Oh, wow. Not good enough from Hashtag at all. We've allowed them to run through the middle. Manager once again onto the pitch. He thinks he's Jose Mourinho. 3-1 to Wormley, Charlie. <sighs> Don't, I, I What's going on? What, what has that even come from? I mean, fair, came from fair, the... fair play to the uh, 
to the striker or midfielder. I don't even know who scored that, but fair play to him. He composed, um, put it in the bottom corner. Jacko, I've got fingertips to it, maybe. Brogan was outnumbered. He had two yeah. lads to deal with. And yeah. what happened was there was a ball bouncing here. Lee Hurst was trying to win. Yeah, the yeah. lad who came and won it off him, which I think was Louis off number six, got it and then was able to run 20 yards with the ball and then play a pass. Lee Hurst, he's going to come off. Couchy is going to come on here. Ross Gleed. Two men at the back stick if he can find them. Ball in towards them. Ryan Adams with the keeper who spills it. Richo trying to get there. Goes back to Kane Brogan. needs to go in. First time. He delivers towards the back post. Keepers. Headed away once again by the resolute oh, Wormley no. defence. And now they're running forward with real confidence. Don't know what their manager said to him at half time, but it definitely worked. Kane needs to deal with this. Oh, he could have probably played that back to the keeper. Oh, and he's blown for the final whistle it's there. Time. It's all over and it's a very, very disappointing 3-1 defeat for Hashtag United who were 1-0 up with you know, a decent part of the game gone, Charlie. But what went wrong? <sighs> we, started the, we started the second half very, very, very slowly and we just, didn't, we just didn't seem to get going at all. It's disappointing, obviously, taking the first loss at home. But um, as you said, they're on a good run of form and they look like a decent team. Yeah, they've certainly changed their fortunes and it is the 13th home game of the season that eventually is the defeat for Hashtag. So it was unlucky number 13. Charlie, I need you to pick a man of the match. I'm guessing you're going to go for a Wormley player. Yeah, I think I'm going to give it to the, the guy who scored two goals. I can't remember his name. Mitchell Linger. Yeah. First goal was fantastic. Yeah, he's done very well for himself. Mitchell Linger gets MOM. So it's a disappointing defeat here for Hashtag and the uh, home unbeaten run is over. The league has still got plenty more games, plenty more to play for. It's going to be Harder than it could have been if we got three points tonight, but plenty more room and time to get back and keep our place on top. We're still top of the league after tonight's game because there's been no other games tonight. We've just allowed some other teams some room to catch us. Let's see what Devs has to say after that defeat. What I want to do, what I want to do is I, I want to kick everything in sight. We've had a lot of good moments so far this season. Lots of praise. We've had bad games. We've had poor performances. We've had bad results. And I'm not going to go as far as saying That's the worst I've ever seen. But at the moment, it feels like it. They've just run all over you. Run all over you. You spoke about, in terms of being on the front foot and being on their toes and switching on. Second goal comes from a, a three yard pass. Or might be the third, I don't know. And we, because we stop, it's a free kick, and we turn our back. And then we have see people turn their back on the ball. That is as disappointed as I've been in you. you I've struggled to top that. Seeing people give up on the ball. Seeing people watch the ball bounce between pairs of players and nothing getting said. See, people give away five yard passes, people hiding, people not wanting the ball, people going beyond the player so they can't call him for it, not really wanting it, not really seeing, not really wanting to get on it and influence things. See, people duck, see, people ball watch, you know, at times we ball watch, going forward and not, never a consideration for what might be going on around us. We've lost games before, we've drawn games from, and, and I look and I think, my fault, but today I feel let down. And I actually feel, feel like I've let him down. 
because let's just talk before the game. You've got to want to be better than the p p person you're up against. You should want to be better than the people you're playing alongside. I don't care what it is that drives you. I, I, I don't care what it is that drives you to play football, as long as there is something tonight. There's nothing. Nothing. I'm not going to say any more because I can't say any more. I feel like I've been kicked in the nuts. Not good enough. Jack, it's great to have you back, Thank you. but not the result we wanted. Uh, no, definitely not the result we wanted. Uh, yeah, first game back. Um, yeah, my first sort of game in about a month. Um, so yeah, it was going all right. Then both my hams or my, both my calves went a bit tight. Went off a one nil, and um, yeah, I don't want to say it fell apart, but it fell apart. What should we as a team have done better in that? Hmm. Personally, I think we. Oh, apart from everything in the game, we didn't work. I don't think we worked hard enough there. Midfield controlled it. In there, nothing stuck. I think really we had one shot on target, which was a penalty. Um, and I think they just summed up our whole performance today. I don't think there's much more you can say. Right, guys, well, not the result we wanted, but the we have had some phenomenal that. support today, and yeah. nothing yeah. more spectacular than two guys, Harry and his father Paul, come not come away from Australia. They are from Australia. They've made a detour come and watch us support us tonight on this cold Tuesday night. So it's going to say hello to them. We've got a little gift for them. Sorry, no we couldn't get the uh, no, no, greatest happens. result, but uh, Harry tells us that you watch you watch all the videos, following from uh, from afar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and you've uh, it's your first time to a hashtag game. Yeah? Yes. What did you think? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Harsh critic. <laughs> you know, come on, be brutal. Give us your critique of the boys. Well, we we should have played better. Like the fence, terrible. Just let through too many balls. Wow. <laughs> there you then, go. Um, yeah, I think so what he meant to say was first half they actually showed a couple of good skills and looked pretty good, yeah. and I yeah. think we faded a little yeah. bit in the second half. Really, yeah. you know. Yeah. We may well see you at another game. Maybe we'll come to Australia for yeah. one day. Who yeah, knows? Yeah. But sorry, we couldn't get the results. But thanks for coming. Well, that's it. That's it, a pretty sombre atmosphere here tonight. A uh, real disappointment to not get the result. Um, the fortress is gone. The undefeated streak at home in the league is finished. Uh, but an opportunity to bounce back right here, Saturday, against Frentford at home. We need to bounce back. We need to keep the pressure on the teams in and around us. Uh, it's a real shame. But guys, thank you so much for watching the video. As the lights go out around us, lights are gone. It nearly is time to go home, guys. But thank <sighs> you for watching. Leave us a comment below. Let us know what you thought of that performance. What could the boys have done better to get the result or to avoid that result certainly if you are new around here do not forget to subscribe don't forget to check out today's match day sponsor in the link in the description headball 2 it's a great game so do check that out and of course yarning what else can they not forget to do don't forget to hashtag it we'll be back guys see you soon